Hi, I'm Ryan with Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be explaining to you how to fix uh, your machine spitting a bunch of ink when you're working. All right. Okay, quick video today. Well, probably not. I end up talking a lot. I apologize about that if it bothers you, but I guess you are here to hear me talk, so whatever. Shut up. Um, that's not nice. I apologize. I'm in a weird mood. Our power has gone out a few times today and I'm just like, ah. Anyways, uh, why is my machine spit ink? So we've had a couple where we're talking about like with coil machines, how the, you know, bending and setup of your uh, machine and your bands and all that. We have another video. I'll put it up there. Um, why that's affecting it. Now, if you're working with a rotary and actually with a coil as well, there's another thing that we maybe overlooked that we didn't put in that previous video that will help you have this not happen. So what's the difference between most rotaries nowadays and not? We see a lot of people using batteries, right? So we're gonna do a battery versus a foot switch. Okay, so we go way back in time most machines were just direct connect. You know, they'd hook them up to a battery, they would run all the time, and they would just uh, run and run and run, and they would end up having these really dirty tubes, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, it takes forever to clean these, we're damaging more of our needles. Maybe if we ran it less, the needles would last longer. Hence, when they started putting a switch on this thing. With modern tubes that we have, the vent hole, and we'll have our little kick out here. If their needle is running all the time, and we see it, you know, going up and down inside of our tube, et cetera, et cetera. Um, especially, like, also depending on how far your throw is on this. If it's constantly reciprocating <clears throat> and you go to dip it into an ink cap, what you're doing is that needle is moving up and down fast enough that it's not actually pulling all the pigment back in the reservoir. It's actually holding it up towards the front. So it ends up collecting at the top here quite a bit and it bounces and jostles around, especially if you've been using your machine for a little bit, right? Um, without turning it off, it ends up collecting here and then when you go to touch the skin, it all spits out. So how do we stop that? Easy enough, if you turn off your machine, right? Turn <laughs> it off. Man, it's cold out. Um, if you turn it off, and you dip into a cap and deep dip. Go down until you just about touch the bottom. If you don't have a bunch of it and the needle's hanging out to the tip, right? You can go ahead and just touch the bottom because it's not running. So you don't have to worry about hearing that rap sound, right? Dip down to the bottom, pick it back up, turn your machine on, turn it back off, turn it off, <laughs> turn it on, <laughs> and then back off again. So it's this nice little happy, you know, cycle here. What will happen is when you turn it off and you dip, you're going to get a whole bunch of ink collected at the top. You turn it on, through those capillary actions of those needles moving up and down, it will pull a bunch of that pigment back into the chamber, which is great. And only as much as it can actually handle. It will not overfill. Great. When you turn it off, then you can clean off the tip, therefore getting rid of a whole bunch of extra goop and stuff that's collected on the outside. And when you turn it back on, it will not spit. Simple. When does this not actually help or happen? When you have your needle set up wrong in your tube or if you just have cartridges that maybe aren't aligned properly. So if you try this and it doesn't work, take out your needle, examine it. Is that needle, of course garbage comes right now, is that needle sitting direct against the back of the tube? Like if it's a flat, if it's a round, is it nestled in the center or is it kind of kicked off to the side? If it's not set right, correct that, try again. If it keeps going like that, there's probably actually gonna be something wrong with the construction. But this is why your machine is spitting ink. If you're constantly running it, it's not being used the way that's supposed to. So try it. Let me know if this works for you in the comments. Uh, if not, check out the other video that we linked earlier about how to adjust your needles in the tubes. That's it for today. Ryan for Better Tattooing, signing off.